first of all, I was familiar with the, with the word refugees, with the word displaced people from the West Bank to Pakistan to those countries. But this one was totally different because from, uh, from the first moment you cross Turkey into, into Syria, <coughs> you see those thousands of people living in the streets. It was summer the first time I went in. It was sunny. People were, were okay. But then winter came on. And I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Everybody was advancing to the front lines, doing the rebels. <coughs> and the refugees didn't have enough chance to be covered properly in this part of the story. So I contacted my, my superior. I said, look, I'm interested to, to cover the refugees, the displaced people. He said, you're the man, you're in the ground. Do what you feel like is right. And we had planned through AP that we coordinate three formats together, which is, was so interesting to have the, vi the, the, the video, the text, and the, the, the photography together. And thousands of people living in mountain in winter, tents, muddy grounds, children, um, they don't trust you as a photographer, first of all, because they have this hope that one day they're going to come back to their homes, and if their pictures appear, the government going <coughs> to uh, crack them down, going to terminate them, going to arrest them. So it wasn't that easy to gain the trust of those people who who doesn't trust anybody because they, they're forced to leave their homes. And it's miserable conditions. People live in really miserable conditions. It was so important to show what kind of life those people live because if this picture um, goes out, people would have more, more clue of what's happening there. And this child, simply, he's been He's a survivor of a bombing in his own home. He got totally burned. And he's not only a survivor, he's displaced right now, living in those conditions. So I'm walking around. People really doesn't want me there. But I mean, you have your way to convince people how important it is to be a photographer to document what's happening here. Because if this picture doesn't go out, it never happened. So we had to do extra efforts to, 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 to show those people how important it is to be here. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. So, and it made it part of the Pulitzer, this picture, which is so important that this little kid right now is, is well known as an example of, of, of a survivor, of a refugee, which is still the case still on. Thank you, Mohammed.